Hi everyone, this is Claudine Helmuth and I am here today to show you how to print and cut my retro eyeglasses kit in the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition newest version of version 3. This is not the version that came out a couple weeks ago where there were all the problems. This is the newest update and I'm excited to see how it handles layers as well as cut and no cut. So let me give you a brief introduction to how it works. You can see here I have my program open and I have opened up my page settings area. So that is this little button over here and I want to tell my machine that I'm going to be working with letter size paper. So you would be pulling down this little pull down menu and you would choose letter because obviously for print and cut we need letter or if you're in Europe you would use A4. Um, I'm going to use portrait. I chose show print border and show cut border. So this is show cut border, the little gray line, and show cut border is the red line there. Now let's go over and put our registration marks in. So I just pull down here and I choose my machine, which is the Cameo. And now you can see the print border and the registration marks border. So we can play with some of these registration marks to give us just a little bit more room because we can see the print border here is this gray line. So we do have a little bit of room. You can move them over by just scooching or you can type in numbers over here. I'm just going to move it just ever so slightly that way and a little bit that way just to make the most of my sheet of paper. So that looks great. It's all set up. So now let's bring in some SVGs. So for that it's the same as in Silhouette Studio version 2. We're just going to go file and then choose merge. And I'm going to start with the leopard eyeglasses. So there they are on the page. Now I want to open up my layers panel and that is this little button down here on the lower left open layers panel or you can go to edit and then layers and that will also pop up. So over here let me draw your attention over here to the right you can see the layers that are here and I'm very happy that it shows the layers that I've created in Adobe Illustrator. So we've got the image layer and you can toggle them viewing on and off by pressing the I over here. Then we've got the outlines and then these little tiny fold lines for the eyeglasses. Now one thing I would like to show you that even if you select that layer and then you try to move it doesn't all stay together. So what I do is I just draw a square around it to select everything and then I can move all of my layers at once in place. Now I may be missing something. I just downloaded this new version of the software about 30 minutes ago. So I may be missing a way to have all the layers select together so that I can move them around but that's an easy enough fix by just selecting them all that way. So now let's set up our cut settings. So to set up our cut settings we go over up here the second button in to the left you can see there it says cut settings and it looks like the little knife tool that comes in your machine. So I'm going to click on that. Now they've re-given us back the cut and no cut which if you are familiar with version 2 of the software that is great. You will know exactly what to do. So let's just go through the standard cut settings first. I'm going to select all of my eyeglasses and then I'm just going to choose cut. And you can see here it selects everything with the red line in the areas that it's going to cut. But we don't want this little box around the image to cut. We just want that to print. So all I do is I just click it and then I select no cut and then it's gone. So that's super. Now it is ready to print and cut and it's only going to cut out the eyeglasses. That was super easy. Now there's another way if we go to the advanced settings. So I'm just going to click that 
and you want to select here you've got a choice to cut by fill color line color or layer and we want to choose layer and then you are just going to uncheck the image button there so that unchecks that rectangle around it so now you won't have that anymore and it is only going to cut out the eyeglasses so that was really easy too so either way whether you go standard or advanced to set your cut settings whatever you're most comfortable with you will get the same results and one thing I'd like to quickly mention is that on all of these files I'm going to zoom in here I have created a bleed so you don't want to some people are used to doing print and cut images where you're using a JPEG or an image and then you would auto trace it but I've already done all the tedious work for you by hand tracing all of the cut lines and then the image behind it has a little bit of a bleed so you can see here where there's extra color outside of the line and that is so that every printer prints a little bit differently every cutter might cut just slightly in a different area so that's so that you won't get any of the pesky little white lines outside of your image and you'll have a nice clean cut image so let me zoom back out and let's add another pair of glasses to this and now over here on the right you can see that it has locked all my layers for me but I'm just going to unlock those and we can lock individually you can also see here that it has nested the snakeskin eyeglasses under the leopard eyeglasses so it's a little bit of a kooky layer system but I, it's still very workable so now I'm just going to make sure to select my snakeskin eyeglasses and move them down just a little bit. And since we're already in the cut settings window, over here I'm just going to scroll down to the word image and I'm going to unselect that so that that box around the snakeskin glasses will not print. And again, we could do this with the standard method as well by selecting everything and choosing cut and then clicking away and then clicking the background image and choosing no cut. So there's two different ways to choose your cut settings, whether you choose by layer or using the same way as version two, cut, no cut. Now the difference when we're choosing cut versus no cut in this version then in version two is we don't have to go through the process of ungrouping everything. I'm just gonna add one more pair of eyeglasses and then I'm ready to print and cut. And now I'm just going to unlock everything and select it all and just scooch it up to make sure it is well within the registration marks and I'm glad in this version they brought back the grayed out area as well as the cut margins and the print margins I'm really glad about that so that was pretty easy as far as file setup and of course you can go ahead and save your file as a studio file now so it would be easy next time you open it it will save all of these settings and you don't have to go through this process but let's go ahead and send it to our printer so for that you can just click the send to printer icon and then I'm just going to click print so now that it has printed in my printer and you can see here the registration marks that have printed and that's what's going to tell the machine where to cut this is the paper that I like to use to print on it's just a really great weight of paper and it's also really inexpensive as well the next step is we need to apply our paper to our mat and you want to put it in the upper corner so that it mimics what it looks like on your screen as well so first you're going to want to feed your paper into the machine so I've got it all lined up and then I just press enter 
And now it's ready to send to the Silhouette machine. So we've got two buttons here to choose from, one all the way over on the right, and then one over here on the left next to the printer. So we'll just click that, and now it has synced. And here's where you can adjust all of your cut settings again last minute if you need to. And then you can, once you've made any adjustments, then you can click send to silhouette again. And then you can see it's automatically registering. And then it automatically starts cutting right away. You can probably hear it in the background. I have released the mat from my machine and everything is all cut out. And you can see here, you can just peel off the paper. This is the magic part of having a cutting machine. It is so exciting that it's all cut out. And then all we do, just add a little bit of tape to the tabs here. So tab B goes on that side and tab A goes on that side there. Now you've got three pairs of super cute retro glasses that are perfect for parties and photo props.